Well, they're an intolerant regime. It's dictatorial. It's communist. It does not believe in democracy, freedom of speech. It doesn't believe in human rights. And it absolutely does not believe in the rule of law made through democratic means. So all of those are what they represent. And therefore, what we represent on the other side of that is freedom through democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. It's very simple. This is an ideological fight that is going to get worse, but the Western governments need to face up to this. There's no, no way of hiding any longer. China's ambition is to turn the world into China, and our job is to stop that. Yes, but, you know, what is the lesson we learned from the 1930s? If you fear to speak out, then the other side wins. If you, if you fear to defend freedom, then freedom is lost. If we don't defend it here, and we don't defend it in uh, India, and we don't defend it in Japan or anywhere else, freedom is lost. And in Hong Kong, it's being lost right now. And too many politicians around the world have said a few things and done very little. It's what we do after the G7 that matters, and that needs to be we take on China on its business, its investments, and we say to them, if you behave like this, then we cannot do business with you. I'm never satisfied, and I'll never be satisfied until people are free. Pleasure.